Welcome to the NFL's Way to Play Performance Series. And this week we are highlighting the NFL's reigning king of the stiff arm, and that's the Tennessee Titans' Derrick Henry. But prior to doing so, let's take a road trip down memory lane and examine some of the NFL's greatest running backs and study the training methods relative to their era that would have helped those players build a dominant stiff arm. So hopefully we will get you primed and ready to build a stiff arm befitting a true king. Here's a little did you know. Did you know that at one point in time, some of the league's greatest players actually had off-season jobs? Yep, it's a fact. So a player like Derrick Henry, he benefits from where the game is at today. He's able to invest his entire life around his career. But some of the greatest players, they didn't have that advantage. So they had to work in the off season. So therefore their ability to train wasn't year round. So they had to use what was readily available in their era, which would have been simply their bodies. We haven't evolved to weight training yet. So it was just based on pure calisthenics or using the body as load. So right now we're gonna take Josh, and we're gonna mimic what the great Jim Brown would have had to do during his era to build a dominant stiff arm. It's a single arm push up, but single arm push ups are not easy. So we're gonna actually do it in a standing position. And what this is gonna do is help you do one key thing, and that's fight rotation of the pelvis and teach you how to get stiff throughout the entire body because that's what you need to build a dominant stiff arm. So I'm gonna have Josh take the ball and press into it while maintaining stiffness in the trunk and the glutes as well. But then we get fancy and we move the ball out a little bit more because a stiff arm isn't always gonna be neat and clean. Sometimes it's gonna be outside the frame of the body. And what you'll notice right here, as he's pressing into this with the ball further away from him, the body is going to want to twist even more, but you can't do that. So now we're done. We're done? We're good? You, 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 you gassed out? Okay, good. The calisthenics work for you? Good. Well, so he ain't Jim Brown, but you get the picture. The idea is simply this, using the body as a tool to build a dominant stiff arm. This right here, it'll get you going, but CJ Davis is gonna take you to the next level and begin to introduce some resistance to your training. Now we're entering the age of resistance training, where we're just in the weight room, pumping iron, and Walter Payton, sweetness, he loved doing that. But he also loved running hills, and you can get many of the benefits that you're getting in the weight room in your lower body by just running hills. So let's get into this caveman bear crawl. Because the caveman bear crawl is gonna do, it's gonna simulate kind of the angle of that hill and how our body is being loaded, which is important for the game. Because we gotta remember, the stiff arm, it's a full body movement. So let's just start crawling here. Start crawling. Right, he has to maintain some body control, some core stability, but that shoulder is stiff, right? And that's where we're getting those benefits. Bring on back, let's do it one more time. And when you're doing this, all right, remember, okay? The stiff arm, go ahead, go ahead, keep going. The stiff arm is not always when you're just kind of throwing athletes, right? Sometimes you may have to use a stiff arm on the ground, or maybe you have to use a stiff arm in different situations in space, just to kind of maintain body control. So go ahead and use this bear crawl. I promise you it's gonna get your heart rate up. You're gonna feel good. That shoulder's gonna be stiff enough so that when you're in the game and you have to keep defenders at bay, you're gonna be able to do so just like Sweetness did. One of the great Hall of Fame running backs that utilized a stiff arm throughout his career was LaDainian Tomlinson. LaDainian Tomlinson didn't fit that mold of the bigger running backs that we would think of doing the stiff arms. He was 5'11", 215, but he had a very effective stiff arm and he used it all the way to the Hall of Fame. He credited Jim Brown and Walter Payton for learning their stiff arm and utilizing it in his game. And in that era, you know, we had the foundation of the weights and stuff, but this is when we started seeing plyometrics go more mainstream. So we're gonna use a plyometric movement to help improve your stiff arm. So I'm gonna take Brian here, I'm gonna have him go on his knees and we're gonna do a progression. So this first one's technically not, technically not a plyometric, we're just absorbing force, but I just want you to fall and catch yourself at the bottom of a push-up. Good. Now come back up. As we progress through that, that's just absorbing the force. So think of an athlete running into you on the stiff arm. You have to absorb a little force. Obviously we want to get extension, but initially that contact should be absorbing force. So now I'm going to add a little force to this. Think of this athlete, it's a bigger, maybe it's a bigger linebacker running into the running back. And I'm going to push him, increasing the velocity and force so he's going to have to absorb more force, catch harder. Here we go. 
Good. Now the next progression is I just want you to fall on your own, but I want you to rebound up. So we're getting more reflexive. So this is more of a true isom or a true plyometric. Good. And the last progression is me adding more force and you rebounding up fast. So when we think of these athletes stiff arming, we know they're absorbing force or delivering force. So this is a great way to improve your stiff arm. Now we're moving on to the new era of running backs. And with this new era comes new tools and methods at our disposal to build us into being the best running back we can be. And when we're talking about the running backs of today, they're as fast as wide receivers used to be and as powerful as linebackers are today. And no one fits that mold quite like Marshawn Lynch. He's an awesome player to watch and does a lot of things really well. So we're gonna use a physio ball, which is a really common tool used today, and make it more functional specific to the stiff arm. So we're not gonna stand on it, we're actually gonna roll out onto a plank and we're gonna sandwich it in between our legs. Now this is taking the plank, which is a great movement for building stability and making it more of a full body movement because now we really have to squeeze it with the legs. And now to build that stiff arm ability, we're gonna do a walking plank where we are driving from side to side, keeping a really stiff shoulder, much like you would in a stiff arm and then driving back all at the same time, keeping the core engaged and making sure the legs are connected as well. One coaching point when you're doing this movement is you don't want the ball to rock side to side. You need to keep your legs engaged the entire time and really make it that functional movement that you're looking for. And when you get really good at this movement, you'll be able to drive all the way around the world and all the way back. So we've gone through four eras of performance training to build you a dominant stiff arm. But let's talk specifically about Derrick Henry and who better to speak to than two former NFL offensive linemen. So we're gonna to talk to Taylor Boggs first and get your perspective on why playing with a guy like Derrick Henry would be an advantage for an offensive lineman. Well, when I look at my job as an offensive line athlete, it is to win my one-on-one -on -one battles, right? Even if it's a double team, eventually there's a one-on-one -on -one battle and that's in that box that first the D-line, the linebackers, and when you have Derrick Henry, you know he's gonna win his one-on-one -on -one battle in that third row with the secondary. So to me, I'm like, we get our job done in the box, he takes care of the rest. What about you, CJ? What are your thoughts? I would say, man, just the, the ability to have explosive plays. Um, I think in any offense, I think everybody takes, you know, pride in being the offense that does 15 play drives. But as offensive linemen, we love when it's two or three plays, all of a sudden, boom, springs a big one, right? You see the morale of the defense, they just kind of down and it makes it a little easier for your job to just kind of like take them where you want them to go and, and really just kind of enforce your will on them. So it's explosive plays, makes you just want to block hard and makes the game funner because we got the lead. So there you go, young guys. Now you understand why the stiff arm isn't just important to your game, but how it can impact the big guys up front as well. As you can see, the stiff arm isn't new. It's been around the game for a very long time. But today, Derrick Henry is the reigning king. But who's gonna take the throne of tomorrow? It just might be you. But we won't know unless you get out here and play some football.